Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on projection of solids. So the question says a tetrahedron of 60 mm long edges has one edge in the horizontal plane with that edge perpendicular to VP and the triangular face containing that edge is vertical. You have to draw three views. So first of all we will consider a tetrahedron. Tetrahedron is nothing but a triangular pyramid. It all face faces are equal. So here you can see it has a triangular shape. All faces are triangle and each side is of 60 millimeters. So first of all we will draw a tetrahedron. Now it says that 60 millimeter of long edge has one edge in the HP with that edge perpendicular to VP. So this is a tetrahedron. First we will draw a regular uh, its original shape like this. So this is how we will draw a tetrahedron. So when we draw this, I will first place it like this. So this is how you will draw the tetrahedron. So this distance is 60. The slant part is 60. So its initial position, this will be its initial position. This will be the front view. This will be the top view. So first we will draw a top view. And then we will take the projections and draw the front view. So this will be the front view of tetrahedron. It is placed on the HP. Next. It says that it has one edge in the HP with that edge perpendicular to VP. So it has three edges. So this three out of these edges, one edge is in the HP. So this one edge is in the HP. So I'll tilt it like this. So this is one of the edge, it is in the HP, so this edge is in the HP, with that edge perpendicular to VP, so that edge is perpendicular to VP, so as you can see this edge, this bottom edge is perpendicular to VP, so this is VP, this is the straight line of the edge and it is perpendicular to VP, such that its triangular face, its triangular face, this is one of its triangular face, it is is vertical edge is vertical so this is straight so this triangular edge is straight so it is straight like this it is straight its edge is perpendicular to vp so this is how the position of the tetrahedron is so this will be its front view after the tilt front view this will be its top view and this will be its side view, left hand side view. As you can see the dark edges, this is how you have to draw. This is the final position of the tetrahedron. So now let's move towards drawing it manually. So to begin with the sum, First we will always draw a straight horizontal line. This will be the axis where the upper side represents vertical plane and the bottom side represents horizontal plane. We will name this line as X and Y. Now to start with the sum, as you know what is a tetrahedron, first we will draw the top view. So from a point we will draw a line. The side of the tetrahedron is 60 mm, so here I will draw a dark line of 60 mm. You can take any distance from the axis below as it is not specified. Now the side is also 60 mm, so on compass I will take a distance of 60 mm, we will measure it from here itself. We will cut an arc, keep the pointer over here and cut an arc. The total three sides are 60 mm. We will join this dark. We 
I have to locate the center point of the tetrahedron as it is a triangular pyramid shape. So we we'll locate the center point of this line and we'll join lightly from here, just till the midpoint. Locate the center point here, join a line till the midpoint. Just draw it lightly, then we can draw the remaining part. From here also do the same. and then join till the intersection join with dark line so this is the shape of the tetrahedron from the top view as we have seen in the software also just mark the dimension here 60 mm now before moving forward we will name the corners of it you can name this as a b c and the top vertex as o you can give the name according to your now take the projections upward take this projection upward this edge upward now as it's a pyramid shape you have to draw a triangle shape so this is the front view of the tetrahedron as you can see in the image also we have seen earlier in the software also so according to this the upper namings will be this will be o dash this will be a dash and as it is intersecting this will be b dash c dash i have to draw according to this the edge longer edges is in the horizontal plane so this is the longer one of the edge it is in the horizontal plane and with that edge perpendicular to vp that we have seen in the software how it is perpendicular to vp a triangular face is vertical so this triangular face one of its triangular face is vertical so this point will be b dash c dash so this is the triangular face which is vertical so this we will mark it as b dash c dash i will place this whole triangle where this is vertical so this is slant here this is vertical here so it has been changed its position it is straight vertical at a height of 60 mm now this whole triangle we have to place it where its face is straight so i'll measure this distance b dash to a dash i'll keep it over here cut an arc keep it on o dash till a dash the distance keep it here cut an arc now with this join this and we have place the triangle the tetrahedron where its face is vertical now the same dimension you will write it over here that is o dash a dash and b dash c dash is already there now to draw its top view you have to take the projections downward so take all the projections downward this is the one line projection now take the projections from the top view to the right side now drawing the top view here first we will mark the points a from here a dash from the top this will be a double dash then o dash from here o from here this will be o double dash then c and c dash from here the intersection will be c double dash and finally b and b dash from the front view it is will be b double dash now joining these lines will give me the shape of the top view there will be a straight dark line joining o double dash and a double dash also that will draw it at the end that i forgot it so a double dash and o double dash will also be joining the dark now moving towards the side view first we will mark a point and through that point we'll draw a 45 degree angle line so drawing a 45 degree angle line we'll take all the projections from the front view and the top view to the side view so first we'll take the projections from the top view to the 45 degree angle line 
and from the 45 degree angle line upward to draw the side view so from here also we have to take the projections to the side view now again marking the points properly a double dash from here and a dash here this will be a triple dash then likewise b double dash and b dash from the front view this will be b triple dash then o double dash from the top view o dash from the front view this will be o triple dash and finally c triple dash got all these points i have to join them that will be the side view of the tetrahedron so join this dark join this line dark so this is the side view so this part will be dark as we have seen earlier in the software also how the shape looks you can see it in the image here itself and this part is also dark finally what i mentioned about this this is also the dark part so with this we are totally done with the sum thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram